Here at the ESCRS meeting, I discussed the current limitations of cataract surgery and future projections over the upcoming 10 years. I feel that the major current limitations of cataract surgery include increasing t cost as we have better and better technology. However, we have to remember that the number of patients that we need to provide services for is continuing to increase through the years as our population ages. So we have to find a way to provide the very best care while maintaining reasonable costs for our patients as well as for society. So I think one of the most exciting things that we've been discussing and working on is presbyopia correction for our patients. We have so many different options for patients. The options just continue to expand through different types of IOLs. We just received um, FDA approval of the Pan Optics trifocal IOL in the United States. So that's been very exciting for us this month. But lots of other areas in the, um, in the world have many other types of technology. So with multifocal lens technology, various accommodating technologies, even uh, various ways to adjust intraocular lenses post-operatively. So we have very exciting things on the horizon with IOL development. However, we also have exciting advances with presbyopia drops that may be able to help those patients in the earlier presbyopia period between the ages of 40 to 60. So I think the uh, horizons for presbyopia correction are extremely exciting and will just help to increase our options for patients. So IOL calculations have continued to improve. We have more advanced formulas, and these have been incorporated to many of the, the technological advances that we have these days, including the Barrett formula, which is more applicable to a variety of eyes. But as I look into the future, we'll be able to adjust intraocular lenses postoperatively, even multiple times throughout life, which is very fortunate for patients, whether it be through the light adjustable lens or the use of a femtosecond laser or component IOLs that will be able to remove one component and replace that component later on in life. So as a patient ages, or even if we're off a little bit with our refractive error postoperatively, we'll be able to adjust those patients. So I think that'll be a wonderful service for our patients. So 10 years from now, I think cataract surgery will probably be done in the office uh, without an IV without the use of drops. We won't have to go through the painstaking process of performing multiple um, measurements before surgery because we'll be able to uh, alter these patients post-operatively. So I think that uh, the future of cataract surgery will also involve less and less energy into the eye. We're now uh, about 50 years since the development of phaco emulsification and we've really focused on using less and less energy that we place in the eye. So cataract surgery has really become less traumatic through the years, much easier for patients. But again, we have to keep in mind cost containment issues. So we have to find a way to provide the best service for as many patients as possible, allowing adjustments throughout life. So I think the future of cataract surgery is extremely exciting. And hopefully someday we'll find the solution for cataracts entirely but then we all may need to find some other type of job. But uh, I think the future is very bright for cataract surgeons around the world.